good afternoon and welcome to Camp Nou. It's Football Club Barcelona against La Liga Santander. Score a goal in the last few minutes to equalise there and, and take a point from Sam Amé. So Barca certainly won't be taking so anything. Their open, oh, their opening seven league games. We'll see if Wesker are able to put a dent. A very familiar kit. They've worn it in their first two encounters. And they wear it here against Gilberto, Gerard Piquet, Samuel Umtiti and Jordi Alba at the back. Coutinho, Sergio Busquets and Rakitic in the Chaita, midfield. Chaita, Jorge Pulido and Jorge Miramon. The back four, Moy Gomez, Gonzalo Melero, Damian Musto and Alex and the Booth game. had a look at it. And then Espanyol were awarded a penalty themselves. Pitch here at camp now looking absolutely immaculate. Early in the season, as perhaps it should, of course. Dramatic second half style. And they're on the attack here. The ball up and into the centre. And there's Longo's not down. And Wesker have stunned the hosts and taken the lead. Cucho and Andes with the final touch. It's dream time for Wesker. And then in front, inside the opening three minutes of the game. Who could have written this script, Duncan? Steven Spielberg. I tell you what, that is incredible. I'm stunned. As is half the camp now, as is Ernesto Valverde, their first attack at the camp now. Their it was Miramon back there. Still they come forward. And the referee's whistle brings that attack from Messi and indeed the home side to a halt. I think I'm assuming a handball from Leo Messi. Goalkeeper maybe just winded. Luis Suarez very unselfish but he does need a goal winded by his own defender here the goalkeeper it was Luis Sino who went sliding through he had to make the challenge got there ahead of the goal cross to Messi Messi trying to squeeze one way and he's beaten Luis Sino down the far side and Barca are level glorious goal once again from Messi had a host of players in front of him, but a tri bit of trickery took him into the space to his right, in off the far post, and it's 1-1. Magnificent from Leo Messi. And it seems astonishing, week in, week out, he makes this sport look so easy. Leo Messi on the edge of the box, surrounded by players. One clever turn, and he loses two. Here is Dembele looking for a space, Rakitic. Sergio Roberto, but Rakitic goes for goal and forces Werner. Outstretched dive to his right, fingertips to it. I'm not sure it was on target, but worth an effort from the Swiss-born Croatia international. It's a brilliant strike. I think it was probably just bending inside the post, you know, Lucas. Catches it really nicely, Ivan Rakitic. The corner taken. Dembele through, and now Alba once again looking across, rolls it in, and it's an own goal. Disaster at the back. For Wesker, they may well look as up in the booth to see if the ball had crossed the line before Alba crossed. Now the referee is clearly saying no there, and Barca have the lead. Well, after such a magnificent start, it's devastating for Wesker. They from Luis Sino, sorry, Lucas. No, don't, no. don't forget, it was Messi who took on Luis Sino, got round him for the first Barca goal. Indeed, and just moments after. The devil's advocate, maybe you say, look, we've got to the camp now, we've only conceded once, you know, I don't know. Maybe as Dembele tries oh. to add a third for Barca, clipping the top of the crossbar, the French international from the corner taken short by Barca. Another hole found by the home side in the oh. well-manned Wesker defence. Nearly a stunner, we've seen him do this or try this before, Usman Dembele. He's got such a good left foot, he's got such a good right foot on him, he's really he got is. under the wall as he did against Alaves. Of course, in the first half of that game, he hit the bar. It's lifted, lifted rather up and over. Werner diving just to check his angles, but that was always heading into the advertising hoardings behind the frame of the goal. Boy, it wasn't far away, was it? As you say, always going over, but the direction was almost perfect, half a yard lower and that's going straight into the top corner and from that kind of distance either the goalkeeper makes a step and obviously mistake. wasn't what the referees were looking at trying to get the cross in and put it across and Wesco scored again and this time it's Alex Gallar with his third goal of the season and this game 
He's going. I was going to say crazy, but my word, five first half goals, and who would have expected West to score one, let alone two here, and they're back in it. <laughs> yeah, well, you're right, it's completely unpredictable. Completely unpredictable this match because West are having a real good go at it, and Barca. Well, Far, Coutinho on the edge of the 18 oh. yard by his glorious chart. Touch from Alba, saved by Werner, way by Luis Senior. Way wide of the left hand upright. Again, Werner just goes to ground to just ensure it was going as far wide as he thought. But look at this. It's just brilliant. Coutinho and Alba completely on the same wavelength. Little back flick, and it's a give and go. It's a give and go, even though it comes from a back heel and he's got his back to Jordi Alba. He knows that when Jordi Alba receives that ball, because whatever he said before the game, it certainly worked. They look really confident. They didn't look like a side. Came from two goals down to get back into that match and get back on level turns and, and take a point back to Wesker. Into Coutinho. Coutinho clips it up and over. And Messi, the flag stays down. Neil Messi off the frame of the goal. The linesman stands resolute on the far side. Messi wondering how he missed what would be considered an easy chance for him, maybe. Well, the angle's very tight and he's got the goalkeeper no more than a he yard. Plenty of options. He goes for goal, Luis Senior. Your first reaction is maybe that was a bit greedy. But the manager applauds him, his teammates applaud him. And then you see Leo Messi applauding the goalkeeper. You got a bit of the goalkeeper. You got a bit of your head on that. Good save. And here's Dembele in behind the defence once again, and it's taken under three minutes in the second half for Barca to regain their two-goal advantage. In off the woodwork again. And Wesker caught upfield once more. Dembele in behind, and this time with his left foot drilled beyond Werner. I've got to say, a very, very, a very, very well taken goal by Dembele as well, but they just seem to switch in the half and they may well be paying for it. Werner stays on his line. Luis Suarez into the area, tries to just prod it under the keeper. And we were praising West for getting players for Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three Barca players there, hoping Suarez would just put his foot in it and roll it into the path of one of them. Well, you were talking about the amount of players that they committed, and that obviously. Messi trying to thread it through, does so, gets the. Luck of the break, clips it across the far side, Rakitic! And a wonderful finish for a fifth goal for Barca. If we wondered if there were going to be more goals in this half, we've had two inside the opening seven minutes. Well, after five goals in the first half, I don't think there was any question whether there'd be more goals or not in this second period. It's raining goals at the Camp now tonight. The problem now is that Barca, you get the feeling, could go on to score another three or four. And it could be a bit of a hammering for La Liga new boys, Wesker. In some ways, they're asking for it. You know, they're committing men forward. Has players up. Oh, look at that. Opened up. And here's Lionel Messi. Through on goal. Rolls it across the keeper. Into the far corner of the net. And made it look so, so easy. 61 minutes on the clock. And as you suggested, Duncan Barca now beginning to run away with this game. Yeah, it's turning into a rout now. Once again, it's Leo Messi. As you said, Lucas, once again, he makes it look so simple. There was one touch where you thought, oh, I wonder if he's taken himself a little bit too far to the left, a little bit too far out wide. There's the pullback, Messi in to be doubt. Messi will retrieve the situation. Oh, Jordi Alba! Onside and seven for Barca. Alba running through late, the pass again splitting the Wesker defence. And I've got to say, full, full credit to Bars. I was about to praise Wesker for still pressing forward at the other end. But you have to say at some point, when does it become foolhardy to continue with this tactic of trying to add to your tally? You're going to head back now. It across and the ball will come into the area once again. And Arturo Vidal and Luis Suarez. Oh. Suarez, rather, in the Uruguayan pronunciation, heading back across goal, off target on that occasion. May not have been expecting that, of course. What a shame. That would have been some goal. I'm not for a second suggesting that this overhead kick from Arturo Vidal was meant for Luis Suarez. I think it was probably a shot I think from a Chilean. Who hadn't scored before today, this could be his second of the season. And indeed it is, Axel Werner dives to his right, Luis Suarez steers it in the opposite direction. 
They conceded eight last time they came here. Wesker in the Copa del Rey as a second division side, and they have conceded eight again here today. What a second half display in front of goal from Football Club Barcelona. 93rd minute of the game. And there you can...